Next example follows. Find integral two x square minus five x plus one by x square into x square minus one dx. See, in this problem, integrand here degree is two, here degree is four. This is proper fraction, so directly we can find out the partial fractions. So in this case, this x square into x square minus one can be written as x square into x minus one into x plus one. So let us say i equals to integral 2x square minus 5x plus 1 by x square into x minus 1 into x plus 1 dx. In order to split into two or more integrals, we have to find out partial fractions of 2x square minus 5x plus 1 by X square into x minus one into x plus one. Now, let us find out partial fractions. Two x square minus five x plus one by x square into x minus one into x plus one is equal to. This comes under rule number one. For x minus one, x plus one. For whereas x square linear factor is repeated. So rule number two is to be applied for x square. So we get a partial fraction a by x plus b by x square, and two more factors are there. So we get c by x minus one plus d by x plus one. Now a, b, c, and d values are to be evaluated. Multiply on both sides with x square into x minus one into x plus one, so we get a into x into x minus one x plus one plus b into x minus one into x plus one plus c into X square into x plus one plus d into x square into x minus one equal to two x square minus five x plus one. Okay. Now, as we have two linear factors x minus one and x plus one. Two substitutions will entertain. First substitution: put x is equal to one. If you put x is equal to one, this becomes zero. This becomes zero. This becomes zero. C of two equal to two minus five plus one. Two C is equal to minus two. C equals to minus one. We know the C value. Now put x is equal to minus one. So this becomes zero. This becomes zero. This becomes zero. So now here you will be getting now minus two d equals to two plus five plus one. Minus two d equals to eight. D equals to minus four. Now, equating equating x cube coefficients. Equating x cube coefficient means x into x into x x cube. A uh, here. X in square into x, a plus c equal to there is no x cube coefficient, so zero. 
here we know c value minus 1 that is a minus 1 is equal to 0 a becomes 1. Now, we know a c d values one more value b has to be evaluated. Now, equating x square coefficient. So, x square coefficient means here a x into minus 1 minus a x minus a x square. So, minus a here plus b here plus c here minus d is equal to 2. So, now c value and d value and a value these three values let us substitute. So, minus 1 plus b minus 1 and plus 4 equal to 2. So, now b plus 2 equal to so now here 4 plus 2 is 2 let us check it once again let us check this one once again. Now a x into x a x square into plus 1 uh, equating x square coefficient a x square into 1 a plus b plus c a x into a x square and here x square minus 1 ok x square minus 1 into a x square. So, minus a this is minus a only plus b here plus c plus d equals to here what is the x square coefficient 2 here a value is 1 minus 1 plus b here c value c value is also minus 1 d value is minus 4 is 2. Now, b minus 6 is equal to 2, b is equal to 8. Now, partial fractions 2 x square minus 5 x plus 1 by x square into x square minus 1 is equal to a 1 by x plus b b by 8 by x square c c means minus 1 minus 1 by x minus 1 and next d d is minus 4. So, minus 4 by x plus 1. So, now we have to integrate those terms. Now, i is equal to integral 1 by x plus 8 by x square minus 1 by x minus 1 minus 4 by x plus 1 dx. Now, what shall we do? We have to separate the terms. Integral 1 by x dx 8 common integral 1 by x square dx minus integral 1 by x minus 1 dx minus 4 common integral 1 by x plus 1 dx. Now, this is log mod x, this is minus 8 by x minus log mod x minus 1 minus 4 log mod x plus 1 plus constant of integration. 